Okay guys, I'm gonna make a video showing how to connect the Ford Q4 harness for the Comma 3X up to a Ford that has the Sync 4 system. So, <clears throat> Comma recently added support for the Sync 4 Fords and they all use what is called a Q4 connector or harness. And so, We've been using them for a while before Comma added official support. Most of the people who were using them were on the forums and the discords and kind of knew what they were looking for. But now that people are just ordering these off the internet and trying to install them, we're seeing a lot of common mistakes. So I thought it would be good to make a video here and kind of show how this works. So what you're looking for is this box that looks kind of like an amplifier. It's got uh, these fins on it for cooling. It's got a... Uh, these connectors up here are fiber optic cables that connect all the different cameras. And then the bottom three plugs are the cables that connect to the CAN bus. So you've got uh, the, the black, the brown, the green, fiber optic, and then a gray CAN bus, a black CAN bus, and then kind of a tan CAN bus. Um, depending on which vehicle you have, this could be in different places. So today we're in my Mach-E and it is in the trunk on the driver's side. If you have a 23, 24, or 25 Escape, it's in the trunk on the passenger side. If you have an F-150 or a Lightning, it's under the dash, left of the steering wheel on the kick panel next to where the driver's left foot would be. If you have a Ford Ranger, it's actually behind the speedometer. You've got to take your speedometer out to get to it. But it looks the same on all of them. Uh, and in fact, the 2025 Mavericks are now Sync 4, and this box is behind the back seat against the, the back wall of the cab. Keep in mind, the 2025 Maverick won't work. Um, it's got this box. You can plug a Ford Q4 connector into it, but it has an encrypted CAN bus, and you won't be able to actually do anything. Same thing for the 2024 and 2025 F-150 and the 2025 Lightning and most likely the 25 Mach-E, although we haven't confirmed that yet. So what this is, is this is the IPMA, the Image Processing Module A. The cameras come in on the fiber optic cables, this makes decisions, and then sends commands out over the CAN bus to the steering wheel. And what we want to do is intercept those commands going to the steering wheel and inject our own commands from the Comma 3X. So what you get is, this is a Ford Q4 connector. Now this is a version one, which has a 3D printed socket on it. The version threes that they're shipping these days actually have a gray injection molded plastic, but this end looks the same. And then this box looks slightly different. This box has a Cat5 cable on it. Uh, the newer box just has a little four pin connector, but they do the exact same thing and they install the exact same way. You need to get the black CAN bus cable, not the gray one. Make sure you get the black one and unplug it from your IPMA. And then you're going to take that cable and plug it into the socket connector on your comma connector right there. And then you're going to take the black one that's on the comma and plug it in where the, the black one was plugged in before. So let's see if I can do all that one-handed. So that comes from the harness box, plugs into the IPMA, and then out of the harness box, we plug into the cable that is going off to the steering wheel. And I'm gonna have to set the camera down for just a second. Okay, so the cable uh, coming out of the IPMA connects to the harness box. And then out of the harness box, we plug in the cable that was going to the steering wheel. And what happens is that now this box goes over the USB-C cable, which by the way, if you're just catching this video, that is not just any USB-C cable, only very specific USB-C cables work. But then the USB-C cable goes all the way up front to the comma 3X mounted below the rear view mirror. And what happens is commands come out of the IPMA come into here, they go down the USB-C cable to the comma, it intercepts them, changes them to what it wants them to be, sends them back down the USB-C cable, and then out 
to the steering wheel. 